Hey guys, it's me, James, and with me again is Arthel. Hello, world! I am back. And E3 is over a couple days ago. We're doing this really late because we're lazy. And we made some predictions. None of them came true, sadly. But we have some thoughts about the E3 as in general that we want to do uh, talk about. Uh, again, we didn't go to E3 because we're a bunch of nobodies on the internet. So we've just, only got to watch I'm it out. I'm not nobody. You're a nobody. I'm just, poor. I'm just very poor. You, right? We just went to Best Buy to buy you a like $70 microphone. You're not poor. I am poor. If I was rich, I would have bought like a $300 microphone. <laughs> God damn it, I thought. Uh, we did get to watch at home. And uh, I, m- we're mostly going to talk about the conferences as... Honestly, I did not really pay that much uh, attention to like uh, websites like on the floor stuff. Have you? Did you get a chance? Um, I kind of stuck to IGN and um, GameSpot, but other than that, I was like, I was watching it on Twitch with a streamer. So, like you know, after that, after every conference, you have like a big discussion with Chad and. But you didn't see like on the floor stuff, right? Uh other than like again, other than like IGN posting stuff on YouTube, probably not. And GameStop, yeah, yeah. I mean GameStop. Yeah. Sorry. I mostly just watch uh, Giant Bomb's coverage and uh, eh, not a lot of stuff from the floor, at least not from what I'm remembering. Mm. But uh, yeah, let's uh, start with EA, who uh, uh, who are the first who were the first conference, uh, and also they weren't really part of E3 this year. They kind of did their own thing. Which was, which was great when one of the like developers came out and was just like, "It's great to be near E3 this year." I, uh, it's just, I don't know. I didn't. EA was this, kind of a this E3 time. was this E3 was weird. I I will say yeah, EA. I almost like fell asleep during the conference. <laughs> EA and Bethesda, I don't yeah. know. They, they just, I don't know. Bethesda was, was at least entertaining. It wasn't two hours of fucking bullshit like EA's was. Like, they just give so much attention to the sports section. They bring out someone that I guess we're supposed to know what you, from football. Yeah, think, think about, um, you know, soccer or what first European people call it football or whatever. That It's a big sport. Sucker is one of the biggest sports, so you have to concentrate on that because that sells a lot of game. It, it sells a lot. Of, so okay, you here's okay. I understand that the sports section probably makes the most money for EA, mm-hmm. but how mm-hmm. many of those fans are coming are watching you know E three coverage for their sports games? You'll be shocked. There might be a lot. And again, know. it's you know it's not even like they come out and they announce something interesting about the sports game it's more like hey better graphics yay and look look we got this big person to be on the cover yay and the coaches they look more realistic yay it's just but like who cares if you're a fan of that sport you know any little thing is going to make you excited and you know what you can sport. find out those details by going to a blog you can, but like, at the same time, if it's, it's not, on stage, it's, it's not it's big enough to get you news. excited. It's not big it's enough to get you excited. We might not find it excited, exciting, but you know, for that next person, you might to each his own. You know, I can't, you know, not knock somebody else that's happy about. If, if someone is happy. listening to this, because no one is, because we got two views on the last one, and one of them was you. Um, <laughs> If anyone is listening to this who watches E3 for sports games, say so in the comments because I don't think you exist. I I think I, I think you're I, wrong. I, think it I is, don't think they it, do exist. I don't I don't think like I don't think someone who's a big fan of Madden or FIFA is going like yeah E3 yeah let's ah oh, I can't wait to see the new graphics. I I don't know man. They just and again it just feels like it's so much and then the. And then the people like they bring on stage for like the sports stuff clearly don't want to be there. They they literally just had a Madden competition where this guy like I know you he won. Money, I don't give a shit about a competition. What about that fucking he, like he coach cried. guy? 
he cried after he won those magic competition. He was like, this is going to change my life. Okay, I don't so, give a uh, shit. Literally, I don't watch Madden competitions. But I'm just saying, if literally that can like happen for a person, that means there's other people out there that really care about you know. Oh yeah, people. Biggs got a person who won a competition. Of course, it, they're gonna be happy. Like, but I'm just saying, there's people who dedicate themselves. To right, their life. Let's let's stop talking about the most boring fucking event of EA's conference. <laughs> Because it's just going to come down to me is I don't believe it should be on stage for as long as they fucking put it on that fucking stage. Uh, overall, like the two like big games from EA that I thought were um, cool was Timefall, the sequel, Timefall Two, and Fe or Fee or however that's supposed to pronounce be pronounced. Those are the two games that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna play that. Um, Battlefield 1, definitely. It looks amazing. It looks I cool, but after Battlefield 4, it's just like there's... I, there's... I, I love old, like, World War II-like games. Like, I really enjoy them. All the action and destruction. Like, I just remember, like, Call of Duty World at War. That was, like, one of my favorites. And the old... Just watching, like I told you, I was watching the other day. I was watching a guy play Bad Company 2. And it that was, was not... Best. Bad Company 2 like, was not... What was that? I thought it was like... No, it's modern. It's modern? It didn't look modern. Bad Company 2, yeah. Bad Company 2 and 1 are oh, modern. Okay. Well, my bad. Well, I'm just you can it. tell by the guns. Also, um, <laughs> Battlefield 1 is World War 1. Yeah, but I was just like World War in general. No. But they're two very different wars. <sighs> yeah, I mean... just Battlefield 1 is World War 1, right? I'm not crazy on that. I... I'm yes, yes. Curious. Black Adder was World War One, I, I think. So yes, okay. that was. Yeah, that's when we. Okay, we're Americans. We don't know our world history. It sucks. Um, oh no, I, I just didn't know like which you know war. I didn't haven't really you know, like dug deep into you know Battlefield One story, other than just watching gameplay. It's World War One. Like no, I know what but, story. No, I no, I'm just saying, like, you know, them going, like, you know, like, talking about, you know, which war it is. I haven't, like, you know, read on that. <clears throat> I've just been watching That's it its before. biggest difference from all its other... Okay, we're just going to move away from that. Also, apparently, like, <laughs> they got a bunch of celebrities to play that game. And yeah, they were Snoop all Dogg. high as fuck. Well, Snoop Dogg was there. It makes sense. But it wasn't just him that was high. It was, like, everyone. But it would make sense if he's there, because he would get everybody to provide <laughs> all that shit, everybody. And he had no problem, like, smoking on stream. <laughs> like, they cut to him for a second, and they're like, oh, shit, we can't do show people him smoking weed. No, I, no, they can't do that. It's the kids out here watching this <laughs> freaking thing. Uh... But man, it was um hmm. everything with the celebrities just felt weird. But that's you can say that's always that you do nothing feels like real. Like I don't know. Anytime they bring celebrities, it just feel like it's, it doesn't seem like they really want to be there, it's getting paid to be there and it's like whatever. So yeah, uh other than uh Timefall two, F E Battlefield one, they showed off showed off a little tiny bit of Mass Effect Andromeda which I thought that was weird that they didn't show something more from that game because is that game kind of out soonish am I wrong uh, on that I literally have no information on that game whatsoever oh March 2017 I thought that was this year but I guess I'm wrong or maybe it got pushed back at some point I don't know yeah, and they showed off a little bit of Star Wars. I can't wait till they can show off a lot of that new Star Wars game. Uh, it's being held up by um, I forgot her name, but she was the main person Amy, behind Uncharted. Is it Amy Pollock? Is it Amy? I know it's Amy. Something. It's Amy something else. Yes. Amy I, Pollock. Amy Pollock or Amy something like that. Yeah. It's Amy something. But, well, she was the creator of Uncharted, and she left Naughty Dog to do a new Star Wars game for EA. And they showed a 
quick like three seconds of that game no action or anything it was a guy like walking out of a house <laughs> in the star wars universe i can't wait till they can show off more of that game that looks interesting so if there's not much anything else you have to say about yeah you want to move on yeah. to yeah, yeah, it wasn't really. I didn't like again. I didn't, uh, I'm excited for Battlefield One. Titanfall Two looks damn good, mm-hmm. but I don't. This really wasn't at a conference, but what actually impressed me this year was Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Really it was on the me. Sony stage. It was on the Sony yeah, stage. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's not. We'll, we'll, we'll talk it's about that. Game for, we'll, okay, we'll, we'll talk about Sony that guy. when we get to Sony, because again, it was a big. It was shown very heavily on Sony's stage. So the next conference was Bethesda. This is their second uh, conference uh, for E3. Uh, And they... I I liked it. It was like, I think, only an hour long, which it didn't need to be any more than an hour. And I don't know, I enjoyed it from beginning to end, but it sounded like you had some problems with it. The only thing I really would like, I guess, was the Quake, is it Quake Wars? Is That's the name of the Quake game? Quake Champions. Oh, uh, Quake Champions, like, I, that's the only thing I would like from me playing Quake a long time ago. Like, again, I didn't really play Dishonored, so I don't have any connection to with Dishonored 2. And, I don't know, like, the, I guess the remastered version of Skyrim... I guess this that's nice. such an odd thing, though. Why it's coming to consoles? It's not, you know, it's it, different. You know? It's I don't know. It's I I don't know. It, out of like all the other like uh, Elder Scrolls games to get a remaster, did Skyrim really? I know it's well, probably the easiest for them to do, yeah, and the fastest to do, but I don't know. Is this Skyrim like your top selling game out of all the Elder Scrolls games? Uh, possibly, but there are, I think there's more beloved uh, Elder Scrolls games than Skyrim. Really? I Morrowind. I heard of... uh, anytime I was anybody bring up Skyrim, they they love it. Like I love Skyrim, you know, since the best. <laughs> That's all I hear. I don't, they, I don't know. If you're a Bethesda fan, then you enjoy that conference. I'm not a Bethesda fan, so that conference didn't mean much to me. They had no. They had the Fallout 4 DLC, which is stuff for, weird but interesting. Yeah, Bethesda like fan. It was like like, you know, Doom. like factorial kind of stuff they were adding to that Fallout 4. Yeah, like just you know Vader belts and stuff. Yeah, stuff for their fans, like which I understand, like you know, that's what the conferences are for. So, well, I'm not really a fan of theirs. So, well, I mean, when they showed off Dishonored Two and Prey, I thought those looked really cool. I, I don't Again, know much about Prey, but this seems exactly. to be like a reboot. But why? Well, what if it was a new IP like called Prey? Like, you don't think that looked cool? Yeah, no, it looked cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it didn't, but like, I'm like, didn't. I mean, you don't have to be a fan of something to mm-hmm. be find like it interesting. I don't know. I thought I thought it was really cool what they showed of Dishonored two to the point where I bought Dishonored one. Uh, I still have to go play through that. Prey again. I know nothing about the original Prey. All I know is that uh, years ago they sh- uh Prey two was a thing that was going to happen, and then it got canceled yeah. and but it made a big splash at a e3 back in the day the other thing they announced was fallout shelter was getting an update which i'm not really yeah. sure who's playing fallout shelter anymore Man, a lot of people play Fallout shelter and i'm kind of shocked they're bringing it to pc it's well funny. what what they were showing with the like this new combat system and stuff it looks like it makes more sense on the pc and i'll yeah. i'll try it on the pc if it's like a free thing or if I it's like, it. if it costs money and they get rid of the micro tra- transactions, that's fine too. Yeah, I doubt it's gonna cost a little bit of money. But again, I played Fallout Shelter. I mean, before, th- it may know. not because I got pretty far. 
It might be free on PC. I, I don't know. I, I would not be surprised. We'll see. I like I still have Fallout shit on my phone. Like it. I played it's, it for it, like a week and then t- deleted it. It was why? It, it was not good. Fun. I did not enjoy no, it. No, it's fun. You didn't enjoy it. It's fun. Like if you, I think at first you, you gotta you gotta give it a chance. You, I don't think you gave it enough chance. Well, first of all, it took forever to get on Android. Yeah. And I uh, being an Android user, you know. I always always get stuff first. It's, it's just the way it works. I don't know, shut up. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, we talked about Quake Champions. They're going to show more about that at QuakeCon, wherever that is. I'm not really but sure. But is this weird to me that it was like, after everything they said, we're going to show more at QuakeCon. And we're going to show more at QuakeCon. Like, that was their okay. announcing thing. It wasn't like that was their thing that they ended the conference on. They were just oh, like, yeah. it, it began with that little cinematic for Quake Champions. More at QuakeCon, and then they went into their real show. Like, mm. I don't know. I thought it was a, like, because people have been wanting a new Quake. You know, so. I, no, I, again, I enjoy, I enjoy Quake. I, I, I don't Quake. think I've ever played Quake. Um, nah, Quake is very fun, especially if you have a whole bunch of friends playing it. Like, it's, it's a damn good game. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And I'm just saying, like, they're just going to show off that game more at QuakeCon. Which I guess makes more sense, you know? A bunch of stuff is happening to Elder Scrolls Online. <laughs> and there was a chick that was really into that. Yeah, she was really <laughs> Like, every into time they mention Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls Online, woo! It's just like, like, what? She really enjoys her Elder Scrolls. I was like, I didn't even know people still play that game. Uh, so. The biggest what uh, thing that happened was like they said like Elder Scrolls won like MMO of the year from some publication, and my reaction was really, <laughs> really, because you know I've I've seen enough of Elder Scrolls uh, online to know it's not for me, but it also looks just very um what's the word janky looking. I don't know. It's not, it's not like again. I watched a whole bunch of gameplay of it. It's just not my thing. I guess I wouldn't play. We're also not very big MMO players, I guess. So it's we... not for us. Yeah, true. I we did try out DC Universe for a while. We played but what? DC Universe online. Oh yeah. We that did was, play that for that a while, but, okay. but we, again, we we stopped playing it because it was just a lack of content. I just don't think at, at the time there might be a lot more content now. Don't get me wrong. But at the time, it was a lack of content on there, so that's uh, why we stopped playing. Well, that's that's always been the thing with like MMOs for me. It's just like, first of all, it's for like I can't do it by myself. I need to play with someone, hmm. and then like a lot of times, like the it's kind of like with uh, Destiny. The best like stuff of Destiny is hmm. like the end game aim, the end game content when you're level like 30 or 25 or whatever the hell the cap is and you can go on raids and stuff it's like oh i had to play through all this shitty content to get here i'm done yeah well would um would path of exile be considered no it's, it wouldn't be considered an no that's um what's that game it's like a diablo yeah but overall, I thought the conference was good. It got me to buy Dishonored 1. And, you know, I enjoyed it a lot more than EA's conference. Because at least we got to see pretty things on the screen. And some crazy woman yelling. Yeah, yelling excitedly. I think she's the only one excited for the game. In the whole world. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Even even the guy that was like doing the announcement about it, he was like, uh, "Okay, like <laughs> I didn't know that." And, uh, I think they expected a few claps, not some person going like, "I love Elder Scrolls Online." But later he was just like, "Elder Scrolls." Ah! Like, oh, okay, yeah, woo. Like, he was just like, "We're bringing," and she started yelling, too, yelling. I'm like, he didn't even announce anything yet, and like you're yelling. <laughs> So I feel like they just brought her there just to get everybody excited. They're like, we do have fans for this game. Don't worry. Oh, there was something like he announced something like I think like 
um, all the worlds were like going on one server or something like that. And that woman was just like, what? She's like, what uh, yeah. the fuck is going on here? Yeah, see, you know, he's like, basically, you don't have to like, you can do like all the quests now. Like, you don't have to like, you know. Oh, right. Level. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, God. And like, I don't know, like every, like she was like, oh, my God, I finally can get a couple of my friends. To play. <laughs> uh, it's such a weird thing. Yeah. Okay. I, I won't be playing it. <laughs> no, neither neither shall I. Uh, well, after Bethesda was the Microsoft uh, conference. The Microsoft slash it's coming to PC conference. The Microsoft conference. Because guess what Windows is? Microsoft. And it's coming to PC. Let's go. Yeah, pretty much every uh, first party thing they announce is coming to PC. So that's cool. Like, I don't know. Uh, like, I understand their premise on it. Like, there's more... It's Windows more sales. In the end of the day, it's yeah. more sales. Yeah. It's more people to get on Windows 10 from yeah, off of, like, 7 or 8. Yeah, um, I, have a, I, I understand their long-term strategy. Overall, it means we get to play the games, and that's that's the good thing. Yeah, I know, but... The thing I, I don't think it's a bad thing, like... It's not, but... For anyone... The thing about their long-term strategy is they need games. Like they definitely need the games where he, you know, people want to buy those. Well, the way that consoles are going to be sold in the future, well, we'll get to that, I guess. <laughs> so the big games that I really, really want to play is We Happy Few, which I forget when that comes out. I didn't really look that up. But I also really want to play Sea of Thieves. Both of those coming to the PC. Was there anything uh, you saw that you can't wait to play? Um, Record looks good. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I definitely like it. I am one of those people, after seeing the gameplay, went, oh, this isn't for me. Oh. Yeah, Record looks good. Um, Scalebound. I, I did, again, the... I didn't really like the video, the multiplayer. I, I hated the guy keep talking. The the main character. Oh, talking. the main character. Yeah, it kind of got annoying. But I, I guess I'm. Still well, that was probably for, for the demo more than anything. Yeah, I'm still excited for Scalebound. Um, Forza Apex looked real good. If you had a couple friends, you could just hop online, get everybody together, play that. This looks real fun. I I really enjoyed Forza. Is Forza more of a simulation or arcadey game? It's kind of both. It's not like Grand Theft Auto. I mean, not Grand, I mean, Grand, Grand Theft Auto, which is full, <laughs> you know, full on like you know simulation, right. like, racing simulation. Like this one is kind of arcadey simulation at this at the same time. Okay, so okay, I don't know. I never really uh, played any of the Forza games, and again, I I mostly just want a new Burnout Paradise, which I don't think will ever happen because they keep trying to do that with uh, Need for Speed, and it just never hits the nail, you know. Um, again, the last Need for Speed I love was Need for Speed Underground 1. Uh, Speed well, Underground I don't give 1. a shit about Need for Speed. It's just the, um, <laughs> the burnout guys are doing Need for Speed nowadays. Yeah. And I want a burnout paradise. <laughs> but they've tried to do the, you know, big city thing, open mm. world racing in um, the latest uh, Need for Speed games. Yeah, you definitely but, should get... Forza try when it comes up. Apex. Or even download Forza. Um, yeah, there's a of... free version that was kind of yeah. like a test for a Windows 10 store. It's it's on there. It, like, I don't know. My computer can't really run it, I guess. Like, what? I tried it, it, it. Yeah, no. Like, I, I don't know. It didn't run it too well. I had to, like, what? literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, it was, like, stuttering. Then I literally had to drop my graphics down way way down did you uh do this when it first came out i kind of did it like the first week so maybe you know maybe maybe like like, see if there's an update or something yeah so i'll try it again but literally like it it was it was pretty bad like i ended up uninstalling the game because i'm like i probably can't run this game (laughs) uh the other games they announced was uh gears of war 4 was that yeah which looks like a Gears of War game. I don't know. Again, uh, with a less... the trailer. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, 
I'm not gonna say trailer really didn't do anything for me. It was kind of boring to be honest. To me, it was just a Gears of War game without like I don't know. Gears of War always had this like thing to it, and it just Gears of War Four doesn't feel like it has that thing. I don't know what that thing is, but it feels like it's missing a little something. But I don't know. It, it looked it looked like it'll be a fine game. I don't know. I'll probably not play it. Also, dead a new Dead Rising is coming out. Dead Rising uh, again, whatever. <laughs> Have you ever played a Dead Rising game? I played the one with uh, the first I played one. Dead Rising two, no oh. Dead Rising two. Okay. But I, I, again, I don't know. It's not really. You're just killing zombies, and like. I don't know. It's not. It's I don't know. Killing zombies with a bunch of really like weird weapons. Yeah, but like I don't. Again, like I don't know the what's the fun of the game. Like I feel like I played a game for like like a couple of hours or whatever. Then after that, I just get bored. Like I don't know. Like what's making me stay there? Like just, I know it's different way to kill zombies, but still. Yeah, I I, I only. I briefly played uh, the first game, which is completely different to uh, the ones that have came out afterwards. Mm. But, you know, I, I never really fell in love with it. But a lot of people do like it. And uh, so it's I guess it's great for them to have this new uh, game coming out for them. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I'm not particularly that interested in that either. Yeah. Well, I did like I, I do like Killer Instincts. I downloaded it on the PC. I, I, I do enjoy that. Brings back memories. Of what? I'm playing it on the Super Nintendo, Killer Instincts. Wow. So it brought me back memories when I play, do play it on PC. It runs it runs really well. So Yeah, well, I'm sure it does. Like I heard good things about Killer Instincts. Yeah. I like, like on the PC anyway. Yeah, it's I just I'm not a fighter. I don't play fighting games. I I don't play them anymore, but I, I enjoy that. Uh you know, more to come back time to time. So it depends. Uh, they showed off Final Fantasy 15, and that was not a good showing of Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> that was fucking boring as hell. They had this, it was some kind of boss fight between like the main characters and this giant yeah, behemoth titan. looking thing. Titan? It was, yeah, it was a Titan. Yeah, it was a Titan. And, you know, that could be cool, but it just kept looking like. He kept getting hit over and over again, the main character from this Titan. And I it, don't think it was bad. I just think the guy playing the game just really sucked. No, <laughs> Arthel, that's not how conferences work, though. This is something they rehearsed 50 times. I know, but that guy... This, really, wasn't, this wasn't showing he was off... He was pretty bad. I, I don't think you understand what goes into these conferences. It's not I, like they get on. It's not like when you and me do a video for YouTube and we just go, "Oh, let's just let's just do something." No, these people have rehearsed this. They have. There's a good chance that's just a video, and they're pretending to play on a fucking controller. I well, whoever was pretending was pretty bad. <laughs> like he was pretty bad. Like honestly. Oh my god, Arthel. Honestly, I don't think you're bad. understanding what I'm trying to say. No, I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm just like, there's a lot of times where he just kept getting hit and hit, and I'm like, there's a lot of times he could just. Die it was it was a bad showing of that game, and mm-hmm. but I also have no interest in uh, Final Fantasy 15. Hmm. Let's see what else is on my list. The people who made Limbo, I forget their name is making a game called Inside, which they didn't really show much of it. Uh, I don't believe. It was some kind of like office side thing. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but you know what? Limbo is really cool. If you haven't played Limbo, Limbo go play Limbo. I think it's like free on um, the Xbox right now. Yeah, well, they did. They didn't really show a lot, but um, they uh, IGN put up another video at the end, and they showed like a fifteen-minute video of it. And, okay. Well, you know, what? I'm just like, gonna play it because I Limbo was great, and I trust yeah, these guys to make a great game. Yeah, it seems like Limbo, but like a lot like Limbo. Again, I didn't play Limbo, but just from how did I you did not play it. Limbo? Yeah, I didn't play it. It was like free on PlayStation Plus at some point. I uh, remember. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know. 
If I have that, you're coming over and you're going to play that game. Yeah, I already did. Dr. John was telling me that it was very good. Uh, let's see. Uh, State of Decay 2 was announced. Uh, that looks interesting. I didn't play the original State of Decay, but I don't know. <laughs> that was a janky looking game, but... um, I, I watched people play it. It looks fun, I guess. It looks fun because you're like you're, you know, you're basically just trying to survive in a zombie. Yeah, yeah. It's more like game. trying to make a like a town, basically, like yeah, or like a hideout from the zombies, and you keep so like you, yeah survivors, and you have to go out and get food. Yeah, yeah. But it was cool because it had a like city, and you can just go to any building and be like, "This is where we're gonna keep our settlement." Yeah. So I, it looks cool. Um, so yeah, I hope this this because I was thinking about getting it on the PC. I s- still might, but I'm still like maybe I'll wait for a sale or something. Yeah. But uh, State of Decay Two. Hopefully they can iron out uh, kind of the rough edges there and put out a really cool game. But mm-hmm. it was mostly just a um, CG trailer they showed, right? Yeah. I have Halo Two, uh, Halo Wars Two written here. I don't yeah. remember them showing it though. No, they did show. It. <laughs> they it did. Just wasn't, yeah, I don't know. It's just not that. I don't know. I thought Halo I really Wars One was a really interesting thing. Um. Uh, do Do you even know what Halo Wars One was? Yeah, I know. I know, I know. It, it was a tactical Halos game. Yeah. And yeah. I, I I thought and what they did to put out a uh, tactics game like that out on the consoles. They did a really good job, I thought. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just, um, I think I only played the demo for that game. I, Again, we were like in high school back then, so I did not have money to flaunt like I do now, apparently. Well, they announced this at the beginning of the show, but they have a new Xbox Slim coming out. That's $300. Um, if everything wasn't just coming out for the PC and a bunch of video cards coming out for around that price, I might have gotten this Xbox S. The Scorpio or the Slim? The Slim. Okay. Slim. That's what the Slim is called, the Xbox okay. S. And they have uh, at the end of the conference they announce the Scorpio, which is a really great code name. <laughs> I don't know if the actual system itself will be called the Scorpio, but. Um, it's their uh, 4K gaming device that's still an Xbox One. Not, you know, it'll be able to play more powerful games or something. It's, it's a more powerful it, system. It's pretty strong, from what I'm hearing. It's the GPU in there is going to be equivalent to a 980. All right. So that's pretty good. Yeah, if they can keep the, I don't know exactly what the price is, but if the price is around like 400 it's pretty damn good i guess my question about that is a are we gonna have a you know the next like generation of games or is it gonna be this weird like putting out stuff that's still the xbox one but code names and stuff like that or are we ever gonna have an xbox god damn why did xbox have to have to weird uh a weird game uh naming scheme are we ever going to get an Xbox 2? <laughs> God damn it. Um, I would say, yeah. It seems like it. This just seems like a... It seems like they're just bringing Scorpio because it's more of a VR push. VR is getting a lot more popular. And but then, no, well, my question is then, like, how much is this going to... Um, how much longer is the Xbox One's going to be, like, the main system, you know? Like, how long well, is it going to increase the life expectancy of the Xbox One brand? Like, is this going to be a system that's out for uh, five years or two, and then we get the Xbox Two? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm Like, this is, it's such a weird thing. Like, people keep comparing this to, like, how cell phones um, are sold nowadays, mm-hmm. where they're constantly putting out a new edition. But the problem is, with like, I, I think the best comparison I I guess you can kind of compare it to is when Apple has you know they come up with the iPhone, say the iPhone six, then they make the six X, the six S, which is basically the same, but and just six C, just upgraded internal specs, which what the S is. So like, 
I guess if you want to compare it to that, it's like kind of like Apple, but I don't know. I don't think I think they're just really doing it just for the VR. I, I don't think Xbox is going to have their own VR, so they need something. If you want to use Oculus, say HTC. Right now, they're Oculus. pushing it as a 4K machine, you know. Yeah, but again, what a lot of people don't have 4K, so like I, 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 I you I know, know, I'm not going to say anything about that because 4Ks are coming down in price. Um, I can are, see but... people buying a 4K just to have a 4K. Like, I almost bought a 4K, but I said, who the fuck uses 4K? Like, and then they announced like... the Scorpio and Neo bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's just like at a point right now where you don't have it. Even if you try to stream it, like, some people don't have strong enough internet to stream at 4K. So it's like, what content are you going to have out there in 4K? So uh, you need content. Well, it's just a 4K upscaler. It's not. <laughs> yeah, like, like it, yeah, I know it's, it's yeah. just not. Then it's not true 4K. <laughs> yeah, no. But it sounds like it could be interesting if like developers use it to like put out better resolution, like or it's, to put out better frame rate. But the, but the thing is about our, how are developers gonna like build? Are they just gonna put most of their time in building for the new version? Or are they gonna like spend money building for both? It depends how, I guess, how close, like, <clears throat> I, I'm i just going to assume it's not too much of a difference. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just a weird, I, I guess Sony's going to have to go through that same situation, too, with their Neo or whatever they're going to call it when it comes up. Yeah, so uh, overall, I thought the Xbox, uh, the Xbox, the Microsoft showing was pretty good. I really want to play Sea of Thieves. Um, and they also uh, they announced a way to make custom Xbox One controllers uh, where you could choose the colors and stuff, and I definitely bought one of those. <laughs> and maybe that was not a smart choice, but I did. I'll be getting a nice black and orange uh, controller in September. I, I don't know. I didn't really excite me anyway. I, I, I wanted a controller for my PC, and mm-hmm. like this is like, oh, I can get it in like, colors I like. Okay, cool. And it'll be Bluetooth, so I can just buy a Bluetooth dongle to hook it up to my computer. Okay, uh, anything else you want to say about the Microsoft showing? No, it was a pretty... It was a, it was a good, solid conference. It wasn't bad uh, in any means. No. It was a very solid day. I again, I like the, a lot of their what they were showing, but we'll see as it goes. We'll see how their you know PC, you know, coming to PC strategy goes and works out for them. It's gonna do fine. Like, if anything, they're just gonna sell more software. Yeah, true. The next conference was the Ubisoft conference which had a very interesting intro to their show of the dancing giraffes and clowns. Apparently a new uh, Just Dance is going to come out next year. Mm-hmm. I guess Just Dance does really well for them, but I never played one. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it does good. You know, you usually find them in like, I haven't really seen one. I guess they're, the last one I seen was in like an arcade. And, and what? Yeah. It was like an arcade, and like you know, they had a big arcade machine. It was Just Dance, and I guess you played it. That's what that was last time I seen Just Dance. To be honest. Are you sure you're not talking about Dance Dance Revolution? No, I Dance. never heard of Just Dance being in arcades. No, I see. Yeah. So I I've been writing down um for each conference. I wrote down all the games that I think look cool. And pretty much it's everything they showed. Wildland, South Park, Star Trek, For Honor, Grow Up, Watch Dogs 2. All that looks pretty cool. I don't think they showed off South Park very well. That got kind of... What What did you say? That? Like, it was boring. Cool. Really? That that whole like conversation they had where... Uh, yes! They started showing the game face towards the end about this superhero movies and like that? In between them showing the game... And them talking on the couch was boring. And it felt like no one was prepared for, like, talking. Like, even, like, the 
at the end when they were trying to announce when it was supposed to come out, they went to like Trey Parker and Matt Stone, like, do you want to announce when it comes out? And they're like, we don't know. We forgot. Like, what the fuck? Mm. I don't know. I did not find it entertaining or interesting. They would have been better off just showing a trailer for that fucking uh, game. But the combat, they changed up the combat a little bit from what. Yeah. And I don't know. I think that'll be a fun game to play. I like the last South Park game. Mm. Uh, Wildlands. That's a Tom Clancy game, right? Yeah. Yeah, the cocaine game. That looks cool, mm-hmm. but all that fucking like voice act, voice thing they did. No one's going to play the game like that. Wildlands is a weird game. It doesn't look good to me. Like it doesn't really. I don't know. No, it doesn't look good to me. I think it, it looks like, interesting, but you have to play with like a group of people. Yeah, the game itself doesn't look good to me, and I don't know. Maybe it's just another, or we're just gonna call it another Ubisoft game that looks good. And now, then, when it comes out, it's just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> After like, because it needs, it's gonna need content. Oh, stop saying the word content. Um, it, it, that, but that's that's what happens. I don't know if this is like legitimately you and a group of three people have to break into these count compounds to arrest these like notorious uh, criminals. I think that could be cool. Like taking it in, uh, like taking these situations into different, like tackling them in different ways. You know. Yeah. But again, you have to play with a group of friends, and well, mm-hmm. we don't really have a group of friends. We do. No. We can, we can get people to play video games. We can't get people to come together, but we can get people to play. I can't even get people to come play video games. When's the last time we played Left 4 Dead? We can get people online. I mean, like, just other than. No, other we can't. Games. No, we yes, can't. Yes, we can. Because this also needs them to buy the game. Yeah, I'm saying, like, look at a, we wanted to play Uncharted 4. We can play Uncharted 4. <laughs> okay, but also none of us want to really play Uncharted 4 multiplayer. But I'm saying, though, nobody really asks to play Uncharted 4 multiplayer. I'm just saying, though. If because you, game, we all have bad opinions of it. Yeah, but... Oh, my I God. So the next game they uh, on my list is For Honor. They showed off like the single player of that game, and it looks really interesting. Mm. The thing I'm just so worried about is if how much of that is going to feel like rock, paper, scissors, you know? Because mm. the way it works is you have to decide like how your your stance is by pointing at different directions to what how they're attacking you and stuff like that. Mm. So I'm just... I hope... From what I've heard from people I uh, from websites I trust... It sounds like it's a lot more tactical than uh, just rock, paper, scissors, but that is my one worry of the game. For Honor was one of the games that I was most excited for coming into E3. As soon as they announced the beta, like, I immediately signed up for it. Like, I I really want to play that game. Like, it looks extremely fun. Like, really enjoyable. That cinematic trailer they showed was beast. I, I know a lot of people probably like it, but I enjoyed it a lot. It was probably one of the best cinematics at E3. Okay, uh, they also announced a Star Trek VR game. You really talked about that, really. That was like the worst. Like what? <laughs> it looked. A- I enjoyed what no, they showed. No, like, my only problem. That had to be like the fakest thing ever. When this guy comes out and starts talking about this, like this game. Oh, he has God. a much better stage presence than most of the people at E3. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. I don't want to talk about this. Please move on. Do you not Watch like Star dogs. Trek? No, I, I do like Star Trek. I just don't like I really Star don't Trek. think you do with the way you're talking no. about this. No I, no, I like Star Trek. I can't wait to the movie. So for people that know, don't know, uh, this is a Star Trek uh, bridge game where uh, it's for VR. So you're, you're going to helm either the captain role, the engineer role, uh, whatever the other roles for a starship is. And um, I don't know. It just sounds interesting. My only uh, thing is that it's going to be pretty expensive. That each person's going to need um, 
you know, VR equipment to play this game. But I don't know if you're a bunch of rich people with rich friends and really like Star Trek, this could be it. I think I thought it looked cool. There's a game like this that I forget the name for. That's pretty cool. It's mm. kind of the same like Starbridge simulator kind of a thing. It's just not a uh, Star Trek. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, it didn't really impress me. I was just like, move on, watch dogs, something else, please. <laughs> wow, wow. I, I can't believe how against it you are. I'm not against it, but You're I don't, against it. You're I'm just not like I don't know, it didn't excite me being on there. That just that was like a slow point to the conference for me. Really? I thought South Park was a good was a slow point. No, South Park was wonderful. So I track felt like it moved. No. Uh, they also announced Grow Up, which is the sequel to Grow Home, and it was pretty much a quick trailer. It looked like it looked like Grow Home to me, honestly, which is good. I I would like to play more Grow Home. Have you? Did you ever get get a chance to play Grow Home? No. You're a terrible person. <laughs> I, I hear that. I've been hearing that. <laughs> And uh, kind of the big thing was uh, Watch Dogs 2. They, All right. showed off, uh, they showed off a quick mission of it. It looks really cool. It, lo- it takes place in San Francisco. Um, the main character looks really interesting. Dead Sec looks really interesting. Prime, my biggest like thing about that was... you know, Remember when Watch Dogs 1 was announced... And they showed him like handling a gun, and everyone got disappointed. Mm-hmm. When he in Watch Dogs Two, he pulled out like an uh, a rifle and started shooting up a window or something. Mm. I felt what those people felt for Watch Dogs One mm. because it looked so but... interesting as this like game where you're not just shooting up a place. I understand that's your choice to use the weapon, but I just don't even want that choice to be available to me, you know? Why? Like, some people like that. So, like, why would you not? That's the whole point of this game is to have your choice. So, it's like, um, why would you, like, negate that choice for somebody? If I, like, if I want to go in there, shoot them up, like, then, you know, that's what I want to do. Like, if you want to go in there, sign it, then you're yeah, Because to whenever you do... When, you can't have both your cakes, in my opinion, because the second you have that um gun in the game pretty much putting this weird like easy mode in the game and it's this weird tempting thing you know Mm. like i don't know i just wish like in the beginning of the game if there's like you're talking to that weird dead set guy with the helmet and you're just like oh i'm not gonna kill anyone and then you don't get any guns that would be nice but that option's never gonna be there yeah, but well, it's there if you choose to. But I don't want you know. the I don't want the temptation of the gun at all. Oh, but it's well. gonna be there. It's always gonna be there. And that, yeah, that bothers me. Then, well, you can choose. It's just like in you know Metal Gear Solid Five. You have your choices if you want to. Yeah, and guess what silent. happens? If you want to go through silence. when something go fucking silent. goes bad, you fucking take out your rocket launcher and go crazy. Well, that's no, what happens. That's well, that but that's how. You play it though. I don't think necessarily like everybody plays it like that. Like if something goes wrong, they improvise. And they I'm I'm just it. saying that I wish the temptation for me wasn't there. Mm-hmm. And it, like the, the whole thing, like the second the gun just got brought out, it made me go, "Oh, this is just another shooter." I, it's uh, gonna be another shitty third person shooter. I don't think so. I, I, I the think, shooting is not again, gonna be good in that game. <laughs> I, I I I like Watch Dogs. It's, what? So I like Watchdogs. Okay, sure. I uh, like it. So I don't know. I think this one's gonna be a, this one. If they improve on everything they had, will be way better. And uh, they briefly did a showed off um, the Assassin's Creed movie, which I don't know why. Well, they're not going to have Assassin's Creed game, so they had to show something off of them. Assassin's they Creed didn't Jerry. have to show. This is their big franchise. I, like, and then they brought off that like producer on stage. 
What is with yeah. fucking these people bringing people who should not be on stage onto the stage? Mm-hmm. But at least nothing as cringy as what happened last year when they were talking to that like uh, professional cosplayer they hired. Do you remember that? No, I don't remember. That. Last year they uh, hired someone to uh, dress up like um, the guy from the latest Assassin's Creed. Mm. And oh yeah, I know you're talking about. but he was like. Uh, he wasn't talking in character or anything, and I think they expected him to. And it was just the cringiest moment. So thankfully, nothing like that happened in this show. Uh, and yeah. the la- the very last thing they showed was a game called Steep, which seems to be a bunch of like extreme mountain sports. Uh, sports yeah, sports. snowboarding. I, it when it looks it cool. cool, I've heard um, from one of the people I follow on Twitter that it. They thought it wasn't that great after playing it on the show floor. Okay, because it looks like kind of like Forza Apex thing, like whereas like if you could just be driving the meetup. Like it's a like a and... weird like open world type of a thing. Yeah, like I don't know. It, lo- it looked pretty cool to me. I hope it's good yeah. because we haven't had a good like snowboarding kind of game in a long time. Well, you never used to play, uh, what was it, SX Tricky? SX... And when's the last time one of those games came out, Arthel? Yeah, true. That's that's the point I was making. Yeah, true, true. Okay, so I th- I thought the show was good. Uh, a lot of games pe- uh, peaked, uh, peaked my interest, but um, it's Ubisoft, man. It's Ubisoft. There's a good chance we might get disappointed with half these games. Yeah, man. I'm gonna say about. I'm gonna say Wildlands. I'm gonna say Wildlands. Uh, steep. Steep. Uh, I don't think there is any really big expectations for that one. So if it possibly, fail, shut up. Possibly a uh, For Honor, mm-hmm. and maybe Watch Dogs too, if they don't. Understand what people want from Watch Dogs. Right now, it sounds like they might, but still. The whole conference for you. <laughs> no, I, I still think um, Grow Up and uh, South Park will be good games. Hmm. But I'm just saying, like, I would not be surprised if For Honor comes out and something happens. We'll see, we'll see. So the next conference was Sony's. The best conference. I, I thought it was the best out of all of them, yes. They did a good job for letting the games talk for themselves. They started the show out with God of War. God of War, <laughs> amazing, amazing. They literally, they, they changed the camera around. And, like, it, it's just, I don't know, it's just... It's like it just brought new inspiration to like God of War. Like people were like, it's just oh man. <laughs> I just loved it. I loved it. Like they actually made Kratos like more like I know people say, Oh, they don't they can't like sympathize with him or they don't like him. He's like a bit more human. They made Yeah, they made him more human. Like when he was talking, you know, when he was talking to his son, like he got angry at his son. Like it made him way more human. Like, it's I, gonna he, be the best game about playing a bad father. <laughs> I don't think he was a bad father but like i I, he is not really father material (laughs) why it's like again i don't know what's going on in that you know world and you know what's happening in that world at that time but i really that really again really really impressed me i think it looks really cool i think um uh, having the sun character is going to be a very interesting dynamic uh i've heard people say that there's literally a button on the controller dedicated to your son. And I'm I'm just curious where, where that story is going to go. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It really impressed me. That probably was my game of the game at my game of the year E3. I guess the game I'm really excited for is um Sea of Thieves out of all the other games. Sea of Thieves, it kind of threw me off with them damn YouTubers, man. Like Those were YouTubers. even YouTubers. Those were wannabe YouTubers. No, but I mean, just them having them on the stage, and those are actually they YouTubers. weren't on stage. It was a video. No, I mean not stage. I mean just a video. Like 
it just that just threw me off. That just really threw me off. I, it, it at least me uh, showed off like they could have done some kind of weird uh, cinematic like with great adventure music of two ships fighting each other, but at least with showing off like these fake YouTubers, like you get the idea that it's you know it's not this you know competitive pirate game it's this fun and fun and cartoony kind of uh tone to it you know mm-hmm. like they could have easily done like put it to like some kind of dramatic music having this sh- these ships fight in a thunderstorm as they rock back and forth and one starts to sink but instead they showed like oh it's lighthearted you know it's a bunch of fun you can drink beer showing how driving a boat's really hard <laughs> and i really loved when they were showing like the below the decks it started like filling up with water you know i don't know i really i really want to play that game you and me are going to play that game it reminds i'm me of gonna game, make um, you buy that game it reminds me of a game um, also it's rare man rare is coming back maybe yeah it reminds me of a game called uh, have you ever heard black flag have you ever like heard about it assassin's creed black flag no no it's a get it's a hold on let me make sure was this a kickstarter sure. game let me make sure that didn't I even get kickstarter money uh black wake yeah, Black Wake. I'm sorry, Black Wake. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like it. it yeah, it, rem- it reminded, reminded me of that as well, except less. Um, where that one looked a lot more, um, like real. This yeah, one is more like cartoony. Like. Yeah, and that's I, I kind of want the cartoony. You know, I like yeah, being able to point it out. But yeah, they yeah, do very look looks. Uh, yeah. yeah. They both look real fun. Like I said, I watch people play. They look, they look real fun. But uh, after uh, Gears of War, Gears of War, God of War. I'm sorry. Uh, they showed off Horizon, which looks really interesting. They showed Horizon. off what more, you know, how that game's gonna play out. It's gonna be an open <laughs> world type I'm of thing. Gonna, I'm just gonna quote a statement for Jim Sterling. It's literally Brave, Monster Hunter, and Zoids all in one, and that is just awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Huh. I did not know Jim Sterling was a Zoids fan. Yes, I didn't that, know. That, that's the more surprising thing from this yes, quote when, you just pulled. When he said Zoids, that just brought back very good memories. I, I, I love Zoids. So when he, as soon as he said Zoids, I was like, he's right. This game, it really is. Yeah. Brave. I, I can't wait for Horizon. It, I. That looks like it'll be a fun kind of Monster Hunter-ish game, you know? Yeah. It looks good. Like It looks really good. Uh, they announced Resident Evil 7, which is going to be a... Uh, which will be playable in VR from beginning to end. But yeah, it will, it looks... it's also not a VR game as well. Yeah, it looks like to you like they're going back to like... So I I haven't played the de- so a few things they released the demo for this game I haven't played it yet I should yeah it's good but from what I heard on Twitter and such that that the demo is more to show off tonally what the game's gonna be about and not necessarily a representation of the final product yeah pretty much yeah it's to show off what's because going, like what the, the, the demo in. it sounded like it was a lot more like PT ish, but I'm sure there'll be still action elements in Resident Evil Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. It, it, it definitely just showed off what the game's going to be, not you know. And the best part of Resident Evil Seven what? was the title. Why? <laughs> because they <laughs> because it's Resident Evil V I and they made the other L to look like an I. Hmm. <laughs> seven. V I I seven. So yeah, I, I just yeah. thought like, oh that's I gave it a good clap, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh another game that I thought looked really cool from the Sony conference was Detroit, David Cage's new game. That looked good. That seemed like he's going back to his roots of like um was a was the one everybody like used to like um 
I don't think anyone really, really liked any of his games. Like they always Whoa. got mixed reviews. They always got mixed reviews. I should say. Whoa, no, that um. For, are heavy you talking rain. about heavy rain? Heavy rain. That got mixed reviews. Yeah. I got I hella know. mixed reviews. Heavy rain was the game that I enjoyed. It seems like he's kind of going back to those, like, because it seems like it's more. God, it's I hope not. Characters. It seems like it's going going to be multiple characters. You're not going to have like one character you're going to stick with because if you watch the last video from E3, it was I, a girl. I don't care. And it's it seems like it's a dude. But... Arthel, I don't care. About what? Uh, First of all, what? I don't care if it's going to be multiple characters or anything. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I don't know. They showed off this crime scene thing. That looked interesting. Overall, it looks interesting. Yeah. But again, it's just David Cage. Be prepared. No, I think it's gonna be good, man. This is good. All right. I I thought it looked really cool. I want to play it, but I'm not going in there with anything more than it's a David Cage game. They also showed off. They kind of made a big deal about this. Uh, what is this fucking game called? Days Gone. Yeah, Days Gone. I'm not feeling that game at all. And they, they it felt Why? like they pushed it. It doesn't look interesting. But, again, are you talking about they pushed it because you see that they showed the, the demo at the end of the conference? Yeah, I saw it. Okay, rumor has it is, again, I don't know if this is There's true, multiple there's ways to go through that scenario. Well, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying this is a rumor that Grand Theft, I mean, Rockstar was supposed to be at the conference. But something kind of happened so they kind of needed something to be thrown I, I at don't, them. And, I don't care about this. And <laughs> they, they, no, because the rumor has it Red Dead Redemption 2 was supposed to be there. So Red Dead Redemption 2 was supposed to be the end of the show. So, like, that's why you, they do, like, Days Gone more out there <sighs> than, you know, probably would. Okay, been. but again, they're still putting, like, some backing to it. It's not like yeah, they couldn't go to any other studio to find yeah, someone see, to do something. But I don't see why. You but again, I just do. it does not look that interesting. I it doesn't why look interesting. Not, like, I don't oh, know, it's another like, post-apocalyptic like zombie game. It seems like I don't know. It seems, I don't. The know, only seems, cool thing was weird. like the zombies look like uh, a flood of water, but again, it just I it, I don't know. It I did not like, see what was but, interesting about that game. It reminded me of Sons of Anarchy. I don't know if you ever seen that show. And I don't give a shit about um biker culture. Yeah, so like yeah. I, I, I think know, that's kinda, that that's a big thing, I guess, weird. but I have absolutely no interest in biker culture. I, I, I think it's gonna be again, I need more information on it, but I from the looks of it, I think I think it's gonna be pretty good. It's like a strong story it, during It did not game. look interesting to me, but whatever. A strong good story driven game, I think it'll be good. Uh, they showed off a bunch of quick VR things. A lot of them looked more like experiences than actual games. That's a little... Mm, I don't know. I wish they could have showed off more actual games for this thing. They announced that they are making like remakes for Crash Bandicoots 1 through 3. Mm -hmm. Which pe people looked like they were interested from the, you know live streams but uh i'm not I, i'll play them I, I like crash bandicoot i'm not saying i'm like i want to see what that game what that would even look like i'm not super excited don't get me wrong but i'm definitely i definitely play them and apparently crash will be in the next skylanders and he looked really shitty in that trailer <laughs> Well, Skylanders is, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't it's know. a weird. It's more for kids. It, it, it's more It's for just kids, weird so. seeing that aesthetic on Crash. Mm. Like, it works well with uh, Spyro, but not for Crash, man. Mm. Uh, they showed off Call of Duty, which is taking place in space. And it got really confusing because it looked like they were. Because it came on right after they were showing off VR. for, And there was, like, a good, like, Three minutes going, is this another VR game? I, I can't tell. Call of Duty. This is the first Call of Duty that I have, like, actually, I would think I would buy in a while. Like, it, I don't know, when they first were showing it, I'm like, 
what is this? Then, like, then, you know, after a while, you eventually go, oh, okay, it's Call of Duty, but it, it looked damn good. Like, I don't know, like, I would, like, really play this Call of Duty. Like, they, invent, they def, I would definitely buy this Call of Duty. This is probably the first one in a long time that I would actually say I would buy it. It actually looked really good for the first time in a while. Yeah, I don't. It, it kind of had that because you know I like Titanfall and I don't know. It just it's, it's it looks good. I, I'm definitely more definitely. interested in um, Titanfall two and Battlefield one mm-hmm. than Call of Duty, mm-hmm. but I do but, like that they're doing something different. Yeah, this is like the like I literally thought like you know boom like Call of Duty whatever. Just I'm worried about Battlefield and Titanfall, but like Call of Duty came and it's not the case like. I might have to look at Call of Duty too. Like it looks, it looks like it's gonna be good. But again, like every time I see people talking about that Call of Duty game, it seems like they're more excited for the HD remaster of Call of Duty Four that comes with it. Yeah, for uh, was it Modern Warfare Four? I believe with the maps, the map packs, and all that. Yeah, coming up. I never really were into Modern Warfare Four, but I guess like I definitely. Uh, that was the game I played and went, yeah, Call of Duty's good. And then never played a Call of Duty after that because it always looked the same. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Insomniac is doing a Spider-Man game. Oh, which, man. did they ever say, like, that was exclusive to PlayStation? Yeah, it's PlayStation exclusive. That's really interesting. And Insomniac's a great studio. That that looks like it's going to be damn good. It, so it looked re- the trailer looked really good. And I think I saw somewhere saying that was, like, in-game footage. Yeah, yeah, I seen the same thing. It looked really good. Like I love seeing him like in the trailer, like he's going through this coffee shop and like, you know, he's bouncing off the table and he crashes through the glass. Like it looks it looks really good. It looks like they're gonna nail it. Uh Kojima got on stage and he was very Kojima showing off a very Kojima game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I actually did not write down the name of the game. Do you remember it? Uh, like oh my God. Death Stranding or something like that. Yeah, yeah Death Stranding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, it looked yeah. like a guy. Like I, what was the actor's name? I don't care about actors. So um, Nathan Reed. Yeah, Nathan Reed, Walking Dead actor. <laughs> oh, okay. I I honestly had no idea what he was from. Um, yeah, he's in Walking Dead. So but, they pretty much have yeah. him, and apparently he yeah. had a baby. You're stranded on a beach. The baby's not real though. And it looks I, like I'm so confused. It, it looks like it's in space, kind of, because on Kojima's or a super, different planet. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like he's in a different planet. Like, cause on before that, like I guess Kojima like put out like some concept art for his the company, and like you can see that's Norman Reed in the suit. That's him in the suit. Mm. Like that's his eyes and everything in the suit. So he might be like on a different planet or you know in space or whatever. We'll and and very goes. naked. Yeah, very, very neat. Um, pretty much just to describe what this game is, it's um, if you thought Kojima was weird at Konami, he's a think about if he was with a partner that wasn't insane like Konami was insane. Like it just feels like he gets the chance to just be insane, and some and Sony's just going, yes, yes, here's more money, yes. Hmm. Because fuck, man, it was a weird, and there was floating people in the sky. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was such a weird ga- uh, thing to show, <laughs> hmm. and I don't know. I, I I I can't wait to see more of that. But um, like that game looks like it's very much in the beginning process of it. You know. Like, I think they just did this trailer for E3, you know? I think it's still something they are working on, you know? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. So we probably won't see it for a couple years. Yeah, no, you won't see it for a while. They didn't even have a release date. They didn't have anything. No, 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 no. You won't Uh, see that game for a while. But it's nice to see Kojima be Kojima. Yeah, it's nice to see he's back and he has free reign to do whatever he wants to do. Though he, like he pissed me off, Arthel. Why? So he they opens like 
the like curtains and he's walking down this trail of lighted path that starts forming at his feet and he gets ahead of the light like god damn it kojima did no one teach you how to fucking prance down a stage of lighted uh screens like fuck <laughs> Really? I, I'm just saying, if I was the choreographer of like this whole event, going, I I would be mad at Kojima. Wow. <laughs> uh, again, I I thought Sony's was good, a good showing. Uh, they did a lot of letting the trailers talk. There was not as much like bunch of developers talking on stage. And I, I think it was the best conference out of all of them. But this was a weird E3. Yeah, I, I just like he, Kojima's back and doing what the hell. He has free reign to do what he wants to do. And it's nice. He looks reinvigorated. That was it? Damn, Sony? That was it for Sony? Damn, it seems like it was... Well, we kind of blazed through the VR stuff. Yeah, it seems, yeah, it seems like it's more than But that. I'm pretty yeah. sure we went through most of the games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They did a really quick trailer that showed like three seconds of a bunch of other games, like Gravity yeah. Rush and Persona Five. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, other than that, that was mostly show- Sony show. Mm-hmm. I think Sony's was the best, and EA's was the worst. Microsoft's just slightly below Sony. I think they did a good showing. Then Ubisoft and Bethesda under Microsoft. Yeah. Then EA in the ship pile. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, other than the conferences uh, I didn't really watch anything from the show floor um, we completely forgot about this um, a game that I am excited for is mm-hmm. well another game is Nintendo Zelda I know oh Nintendo it. oh my god I'm a jackass yeah you didn't bring Nintendo up so, uh, well, no, yeah, well no, I guess, we're still going in order then Nintendo they did a quick thing to show off Zelda, the next Zelda, what was it called? Breath of the Wild? Yeah. Okay. Um, and they also showed off Pokemon. They did a terrible job showing off Pokemon. They did an okay job showing off Zelda. That looks really cool. Um, it'll be out for Wii U and apparently the NX whenever that comes out, whatever the hell the NX will be. And uh, I, it looks like, it looks like a Western developer's take on Zelda. In all honesty, you know, mm-hmm. and you know that, that's good. Uh, it makes me interested in a game series I'm not normally interested in. <laughs> and again, I, I think this is again they showed um, and Nintendo they showed Pokemon, which I'm just going. Uh, Pokemon, which is for the first Pokemon. Sun and Moon? For. Yeah. So I'm actually really? back into Pokemon. Really? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to get back into Pokemon. It's been a while. So I'm you should have just played X and Y. No, this is the version I'm coming back. Sun and Moon. All right, well, if, you, if you actually get this one, because I'm pretty sure you said this for Black and White and X and Y in the past. Hmm. No, I, I pretty much said I was going to stop after that until they showed me something. You know. At least you can be black in this one. Yeah. Though you can kind of be black in uh, X and Y, though it's not that dark. But uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll get it if you get it. But um, Yeah, I'm, I'm almost like that. They did a terrible job showing off that game. <laughs> I, I was bored to tears when they were showing off Sun and Moon. Again, Zelda looks new. It's just like a brush. Again, a brush. Like, it looks new, brush and fresh air. Like, it's yeah. probably most like, well, I have a Wii with well, my brother's Wii, but if I get it on there. What um, I really want to see was the NX, but it's not there. I don't know They're not, that. Uh, so. If I had to guess, Tokyo Game Show. Mm-hmm. But it might be a next year announcement. I don't know. A uh, but yeah, I, if I did get that, I really wish I could get a Wii U, but it's still like $300 for that system. I mostly just want it for uh, Tokyo Mirage or Mirage Tokyo, whichever way that's 
I think that's it's supposed to be. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the right person. Okay. But yeah, I I can't again. Zelda most likely get it on the Wii U and play it. Really, you don't want to get it on the NX? I don't know when the NX is going to come out. So soon. So I are, are they going to like have it on the Wii U? Or will it come out on the Wii U first, or is it just going to come out? The same I think time? it's going to come out Wii U first. But it it'll be in the NX like. Then I, I like, most likely we'll get on the play it on the Wii U first. So if it comes out on the Wii U first, but if they come out at the same time, then I guess I would probably prefer it on the NX, obviously. Yeah. But my question is, were they playing on the NX? They were playing on the Wii U. You saw them on oh, the okay. Wii U controller. Okay. <laughs> like you can definitely tell that Wii U tablet controller. You know. Okay. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know like if they were gonna say like you know you, you can just. You know, I, I also believe they at some point did say we are playing this on the Wii U. Okay, because I didn't want to be like okay, they just you can the do NX was control. not. They were serious when they said the NX is no not gonna be anywhere near E3. Uh so other than the conferences, didn't really pay attention to the. Um, show floor. Uh, though Persona Five got a date, it's coming out next year on Valentine's Day, which is good. That means I'm not gonna have anything to do that day. Um, and uh, yeah, they put out a. It's not really a new trailer. It was a trailer they put out a while ago, but they put English subtitles in this one. So if you want to go check that out, if you already haven't go. Go check that out. It, I think that game has a lot of style to it, a lot of pizzazz, and I can't wait to play it. Honestly, after Zelda, I literally stopped watching Nintendo's conference. I probably just turned it off. I just watched like the when they came back from uh, mm-hmm. Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Uh, when Nintendo came back from Pokemon, I watched mm-hmm. like that first section of Zelda of them mm-hmm. walking around and Zelda yelling at them to go somewhere. Um, mm-hmm. And then them setting fire to the land. But uh, yeah, after that, it was just like, okay, I got enough of this. I, I, It's amazing that they even got me wanting to play a Zelda game. So I was just like, I don't want to see any more, more now, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, and that was uh, E3 in a not-so-small nutshell. Not-so-small nutshell. This is an hour and 30 minutes, oh God. Oh God! So, if there's anything, um, anything you want to add, uh, I'm gonna re liter- uh, just restate that. Uh, I think Sea of Thieves for me is my most un- anticipated game that was shown at E3 this year. Yeah, I think for honor, but this is in all, all in all. E3 I thought you were gonna say uh, God of War. No, I mean, I mean just. Coming out like they didn't really have an announcement for God of War. Like they didn't even have a release there or anything. So at least I know Four Honor is coming in 2017. Like God of War, I don't know, maybe 2018, 2019. Like I don't know. So like, I it don't. Know, I, it is my game, but like you know the E3. But at the same time, like it's not coming out no time soon. <laughs> so I'm about to probably go with For Honor at least for that reason. At right. least I can see it coming. <laughs> I can see it in the rear. I can see it in the. the I don't action. think God of War is getting canceled at any point or anything. It's not going to get canceled, but they don't have released it, so I don't know if it's eighteen or nineteen. Like I don't. Know. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Oh, Last Guardian was given a fucking. <laughs> we forgot all about Last Guardian. I did not hear that great of things from people. But uh, that's coming out in October, I believe. Uh, And I think that was everything for me Mm 3. That's all our uh, opinions. We have very uh, different opinions on many things, you and I. Can't believe you hate Star Trek. I don't hate Star Trek. I just don't like that Star Trek game. (laughs) Sure. Anyway, thanks for uh, listening. Especially if you got this long, holy crap. Uh, yeah, and uh, see you next E3 if I'm not dead. I don't know.
You want to say bye, Arthel? Peace and good love. <laughs>